We're also going to do item analysis. Who does this? The kids. By the way, who does the class run chart? The kids. They add it up. Who puts the dots on the scatter diagram? The kids. Who does the item analysis? The kids is student engagement. So this is item analysis. This happens to be a spelling example. And it is the, at the left, the most misspelled word in the whole class, the next and the next. <clears throat> How do they get that? The teacher says to a kid, can you write down the words you misspelled and pass it around the room? Other kids write down the words they misspelled or, they, and, and, or tally, uh, uh, new words or tally marks. And then the kid makes the graph and then the kid not only makes the graph, the kid writes the three most missed words upon the whiteboard. It's all set for the teacher. We do this at every grade level. There you see um, an example of one. Blue is um, preview. We haven't been taught that yet. 20, 21 kids missed it and we haven't been taught it yet. Of course. But look at the next one. We have 18 kids missed concept number two. And it's a review. Teacher's going to deal with that one. Look at the next one. We're in a grade four classroom, but grade three, we have uh, eight kids missed the grade three question. For sure we're going to deal with that when we're in fourth grade and the kids don't like it. I can tell you that when it comes up and they miss a question from a prior grade level, they do not like it. But if they don't know it comes from a prior grade level, it's just in the book as if it's new, but it's really not, they don't care. But when it's identified as coming from a prior grade level, they don't like it.